Hey YouTube, back again. I have decided to remake this video since it was deleted, but um, remaking the video about my long strike. This is my Nerf long strike. Um, it has been painted as well as modded. Um, so, uh, starting from the back from our stone with the mods, I have the air restriction removal, plunger padded and as well as all locks removed. That means that I can take the clip out without oh, being I'll stop there for a second. Um, pull this back, although I don't know why you would do that. And most importantly, while this is back, pull the trigger and I'll just come forward, which is great because in one of my recons, um, I had not been able to do that and I'd be forced to dry fire it every time. And that is not good for a modded blaster to have to do that. Um, I do not, coming back here, I do not have the um, removable stock mod by Drac. I saw that mod and it looks really cool, but I don't see any drop. I really like this blaster because it's very comfy, but there's no, there doesn't seem to be a use to have to take the stock off and then put it back on for whatever, whatever reason it is, because this will never really be that small. Um, back to the front, I do not have the barrel extension. I have it painted actually for another gun. It doesn't ever go on this. I feel like it makes the gun too cumbersome and it just sort of looks, it doesn't really help the gun, it also takes damage, which is not good. Um, I have a paint job here, I have, um, start with a base coat of brown, then covered it with green and then black, uh, electrical tape, and, uh, sorry, not electrical tape, using, um, I painted it using pa uh, Danish tape, multiple layers, all of spray paint, and then covered it with some type of, uh, finish, although I don't remember exactly what that was, I, uh, made careful attention not to paint on areas where my hands will constantly be. I also uh, left plenty of orange on this. So if you close up on the paint job. But um, here's a quick firing of this blaster. It is, um, do not have orange mod works kit in this. I, you're not planning on getting one actually. Unless of course the plunger tube breaks, which is keeping my fingers crossed. Cause, um, being careful with this, but uh, okay, quick find out. Oh, well, I'm gonna go And the clips can just go in without coming like that, which is sort of handy. Alright, um, this concludes this video. Uh, thank you for watching.